Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. My name is Zulhimi bin Nuruslan. I'm from CS2554A and this is my presentation for my project for ITT569 which is a smart motion alarm. So, first introduction. The sense of safety and security is what needed by a human either it be at home, workplace or anywhere else. Even though we always hope for the best but things might not turn the way that we wish it to be. So having to know that our home is safe and secure is a relief basically to anyone whenever we are out working, on a vacation and etc. So next is our problem statement. In case of emergency, CCTV might fail and the necessity of a second layer security will play its role in order to provide more protection. A device that works well with a CCTV or possibly an alternate to CCTV. For this project, my objective is to design a system that detect motion on movement. To, and next is to develop an alarm system that could be activated uh, remotely using uh, mobile devices and uh, lastly to notify the user when motion or movement is uh, detected so the component I'll be using in this project uh, firstly is a Wemos T1 Wi-Fi and next is a PIR sensor a breadboard, a piezo buzzer and a jumper uh, wires so the significance of my project is that my device will work the same as a CCTV with a motion detecting capability which could detect motion during the day and in the dark but my device could possibly save energy or electric compared to CCTV as my device doesn't use any camera so comparison to a previous project my project differs in, uh, in a way because the previous project when a motion is detected, it will only notify the user. But my project, my device will send a notification to the user as well. But the user may choose to turn on or off the alarm, which is the piezo buzzer, uh, in my project to scare off any intruder, hopefully. And next, we continue with the live demonstration of my project. Okay, so here is the demonstration of my device. Here we have the buzzer, and then we have the LED, and then we have the PIR sensor. So when you first plug in the device, the, the buzzer will go on for a few seconds indicating that the device is being plugged on, and this also to indicate that the PIR sensor is uh, being calibrated. And it usually take about 20 to 30 seconds for it to uh, function properly. So now I'm going to test the PIR sensor. So it indicate that uh, there's a movement and as you can see on our device we get a notification motion alert motion has been detected so if we get this notification we can uh, turn on the buzzer as we please to uh, scare off any intruder or something like that so now I'm going to test the buzzer now I'm going to close the buzzer and that's all for me. Thank you.